welcome back. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. You got a lot going on. You're in the middle of the the rain check tour. Yes. Uh, and uh, your your Netflix special, which I, I texted you, I, I loved. The, yeah. the greatest average American was nominated for a Grammy. Yeah. For best yeah. comedy album. <clears throat> well, look, I do, I want to say for that, I owe a lot to this show. You have been unbelievable to me. Uh, I don't know if anybody, but it's been a long time since Late Night with Fallon. The Roots have been unreal to me. Everybody that works here is unreal to me. You've been, tonight's show has been a huge part of my career, so I do want to thank you all for that. I never forget it. Uh, I appreciate that, buddy. You, but you. you're, the, you're the best. You put that work in. I don't know how you do all this stuff. But, dude, best comedy album. Congrats. Yeah. That's giant. That's massive. Oh, it's enormous. Dude, it's crazy. I mean, it was like, yeah, I don't even so know. so exciting. Like, it's, yeah, well, I'm just from Old Hickory, you know, we're not supposed to get that stuff. No. Are, so, you, are, are, you, are you getting recognized more now that you're It happens, it? yeah. It's, I, it happens more. It's all, like, gradual. Like, uh, it's, it's not crazy. I can still go everywhere. But it's not a problem. But, like, when I get recognized, I, like, I always take pictures. Like, I, none of this is lost on me. I truly appreciate it. Uh, but I always want to say, like, sometimes when it happens, I want people to know, like, when you leave... After you take this picture, I then have to explain who I am to like 30 people. <laughs> so you put me in like a whole thing, like you, and I'll still do it. But then you leave, and they're like, "Why did you? Do, why did they do that?" They just come up and ask. Yeah, they go, "Who? Like, who are you? Why did they do that?" <laughs> and they're mad about it. And I'm like, oh, "I go, I'm a comedian." They're like, "I've never heard of you." I was like, "I wasn't announcing. I wasn't walking around <laughs> saying I'm a comedian." I was at the airport one time, and this guy overheard that, and he asked me, he "Goes, is there any money in that?" Like he might do it. Like, he, wow. like, just was like, if he could do it, I mean, obviously, <laughs> I'll do it if there's money in it. <laughs> oh it goes, yeah. uh, I was just talking to uh, Kate Planchette about New Year's resolutions. Uh, are you that type of person? Do you, is 2022 new Nate? Uh, it's, I mean, I hope so. So I have a whole thing. You know another place I got recognized recently? McDonald's. And that's always a tough one. Uh, if, you, if you're in McDonald's alone... And then someone's like, hey, are you Nate? You're like, ah, yeah, I'm sorry. You know? Because <laughs> you're like, feel kind of bad being at McDonald's. Like, his dude was, because it was, I was 10 minutes from my house. That guy was on a road trip, like, where it's like, that's all he has to do. And he's like, where do you live? I go, I live 10 minutes from here. I'm here just a regular day during the, like, this is just my lunch today. It wasn't a special yeah. thing. I mean, I was sitting there, I was holding a popcorn bucket of soda. Just like that, it's so much. Like I drink, I love it so much. <laughs> and you fill it up, and it just keeps going. It's so like when it keeps going, it's long enough that you go, I gotta fix my life, dude. <laughs> and then it just keeps coming. And it just keeps coming. Like you have a long time to think about it. And then you, I'll take a little sip to make sure everything's cool. And then I'm like, well, I'm about to fill it back up. You know, I don't want to get <laughs> stuck out. What if I get lost in the road somewhere? And, <laughs> and then he took a pic, then we took a picture. <laughs> and I had, it was, I love, I love McDonald's. We should show McDonald's more respect, to be honest. Yeah. People go in there with sweatpants, you should have a tuxedo. It's the most successful restaurant in, on earth. <laughs> yeah. You should be like, it's an honor you even opened the door for me. I come from nothing. So. Yeah. That's, you just feel like people should give that more respect, but that's. Yeah. But, but, but you can't do that much of it. I think, too, you know what's hilarious, too? So uh, I have a podcast, the Nate Land Podcast. Hello, folks, for the people listening. But they, it's, uh, I, I told that, I, I have, my mouth has been dry lately, and uh, I said it on the podcast, and they were like, you probably have type 2 diabetes. <laughs> so I was in that McDonald's. When that guy came up to me, I was Googling how to do, how to do check for diabetes at home, like in there. <laughs> And so I was in the McDonald's, just Googling that. I mean, just, just at a low point, you know? <laughs> and it's, uh, and, but I was like, but I had to check it like that. <laughs> you're Googling that while you're getting it, 98 ounce soda. Yeah. Yeah. And type two is the earned kind. That's not, you know, type one, <laughs> you gotta, you know, that's, <laughs> you gotta clock in and clock out yeah. every day. <laughs> Put the you work show in. up, dude. You don't, they don't just give it to you, you know? You just gotta <laughs> get after it. <laughs> I found out, but I did, I did an uh, at-home test before I came here. Yeah. Because I wanted, you have to, like, stab your finger, you know? Yeah, I'm sure. And my wife did it, and she did it pretty hard. Like, it's, I, like, because I couldn't do it, so I had her do it with the little thing. And, I mean, it was just the most blood. <laughs> I was like, how deep do you want to go, you know? <laughs> and I am, but I was on, I was like, I'm on, like, the beginning of pre-diabetic. Like, I'm right on the... I'm, I'm a little normal. It's like... It'd be like if there was, like, a no trespassing, no trespassing sign and you walked in and you heard a gunshot 
and you're like, you can either just go be normal, or you can be like, well, I'm gonna go see where that gunshot came from. You know, like, yeah, that's where you I'm are. right there with on the edge. Yeah. Your, yeah, with your diabetes. That's how I look at diabetes, is but no trespassing. Are you, are you cut, cutting back on sugar? Or are you... I don't know, man. I had gummy. <laughs> I do need to. I'm reading a book about it because I do think I'm addicted to sugar. So I eat ice cream every night and it's so much ice cream. I like ketchup. I like to use enough ketchup that the person next to me has to go, man, that's a lot of ketchup. <laughs> like that's, they have, to, they have to feel like they got it, they have to get involved. And they're like, that's, that's a lot, isn't it? And I'm like, is it? I don't know. <laughs> wow. I'm not, yeah, I don't, uh, I eat, I ate gummy bears last night in the hotel, and I didn't want to, but I love them so much. Man, and this is terrible. Yeah. I love uh, French toast and pancakes, and I eat it every day, and it makes me so tired. <laughs> and I don't know, and I never blame the pancakes. I'm like, what is what today, man? Like, I, I guess I didn't get sleep last night. <laughs> I'm going to bed immediately. I have to go, because like, I went to the doctor, like, uh, to get a physical. So they go through it, they're like, well, what's your family history? Like, I don't, I've never asked, like, how do I know what my family history is? Do I suppose, it's just on the holidays, but like, all right, who's, raise your hand if you've got diabetes in the room. Let's go. Let's just yeah. go through everybody. How many heart attacks we got in the room? I just got a, I got a physical coming up. It's a bummer, yeah. But how, how is mom and dad? How are your parents doing? Uh, the parents, uh, the parents are great. And everybody's doing great. Uh, my parents downsized into a, they got a home with uh, zero steps. That's what they've been looking for. Yeah. They were, they wanted, they said zero steps or if we could find a place where we could always walk down would be great. <laughs> and <laughs> so, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we found them, one with zero steps. And so my mom, uh, she's at the age, she wants a koi pond. There's an age, you never want one, then you hit an age and you're like, that's all I've ever wanted. So <laughs> we were gonna go get her a koi pond for, we did one for this past Mother's Day. And so we were gonna go dig the hole and do it ourselves. And dude, I don't know, have you ever dug a hole before? Because it's maybe <laughs> the hardest thing you ever do in your life. <laughs> you see it on TV and movies and you're like, I'll just dig this hole real fast. And you start doing it, you're like, I guess it's all CGI, because it's impossible. <laughs> Digging a hole. You can't, it takes forever. And it made, you know what it did? It made me realize, I was like, this is why so many people get caught when they kill someone with a shallow grave. That's how hard digging a hole is. Even when you're digging the most important hole of your life. <laughs> it's so hard that you're like, all right, I think that's good enough right there. You know? No one will ever find it. someone, that. they're like, oh, oh cover up. Be. You're like, well, his hand's sticking out. You're like, put a leaf over it, dude. No one's gonna come up here. Cover the, yeah. It's so hard that I swear to you, my mom's koi pond is above ground. We just, <laughs> we couldn't and do above it. Ground above ground, above ground koi pond. You're welcome, mom. Uh, yeah. Nate Bargetti, thank you so much for coming Dude, on our show. You. Every time, the greatest average American is streaming now on Netflix. Check out natebargetti.com for tickets. See him live on the Rain Check Tour. Hey, hey, hey.